The key of G is really our template for how bass runs work in bluegrass music because you'll find that everything we learn here transfers to the other keys. So we've already learned our alternating bass notes. Now if I want to go from a G chord to a C chord, I can connect those two chords with a bass run that sounds like this. And I can connect going backwards. All I'm doing is six brush. And now instead of bass strum, I'm using up the next two beats or the next two sections. Open second, I mean open, open fifth string, second fret of the fifth string. Then I put down my C chord and I've got the third fret. and you can do that backwards. And to go back to the G, you can also go. Open, fifth, second fret of the sixth, slide up to the third fret. Here's what that sounds like. which sounds nicer than and that's your basic transition from G to C from C to D often I'll use a chromatic run meaning I'm not I'm going to the very next note the very next fret C to D, and then to get back to G, I'm going to hit the open sixth, second fret of the sixth, and back to my G chord. So that D. Now those are really simple. You can do more complex things, and you want to be careful about how much of that you do, but I'm going to teach you all of it, and then you're going to use your own taste to figure out where it goes. So for instance, chromatically, I can go from G to C, playing every note. So it's my third fret of the sixth, open, fifth, first fret of the fifth, second fret of the fifth, and then we're back to the C chord with the third of fret of the fifth. And those runs take place in different kinds of timings depending on the song. So it might be. You'll hear that sometimes. Now what am I doing when I do that and I slow it down? You might hear the bass player and the guitar player do exactly the same thing. You're going G. Now when I play that note, it's not in any chord really at the moment, and neither is that. Watch my right hand. This is where you add a right hand technique. I'm just going when I do it all in a row, but if I'm going to slow it down and have a brush in between each one, I almost do what I call a fake brush. It sounds like this. I hit very lightly because you can hear the notes are dissonant, but in context, you'll never hear that. Here's what it sounds like when you go fast. And I really just strum the inside strings and very lightly it goes by so fast that your ear doesn't catch that you're playing a bunch of dissonance. And the same thing if I want to go from C to D. What I can play for chromatic run 
C, move it back one. And I take the same finger and just push it up. And you saw me squeeze in one of those upstrokes. Now we're going to go between G and D and back. G. That one's quite simple. Open fifth, second fret of the fifth, and it takes you right to the D. Now that's a very, very common chromatic run. Second fret of the fifth, third fret, fourth fret, and it, if it's... And most of the time, that'll be one note after the other. No strum. Down, down, down with the right hand pick. Now I recommend that you take each of these, any of them that seem a little more challenging, and just run them on your own a little bit. And to get back to G from D, one of your options is to do a descending run that sounds like this. And I'm playing D. Then I lift up my middle finger. And you don't really hear that open E, and I kind of mute it there. Second fret of the fifth. Open, fifth, and I'm back to my full D chord. So the notes I'm playing are la, 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 la. And sometimes when you land on that G, you feel like, oh, I need to do something else. I need to close the phrase. And I might close it like this. And what I'm doing is there, bass drum. And I'm playing on the second fret of the fourth string, which is my D to E. And then I go to this higher G on the third string. And there's so many syncopations. You could do a simple bass drum, bass drum. Or And that's a nice little exercise. Down, down, up, down. My right hand's going down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. Or Now, if you need to get to the two chord. G. And you can see, what am I doing? I'm backing it up one fret, back to my root note, up one. And then I'm playing the open fifth, which is the same is it as if I went all the way up to the fifth string. G.
And now you start to see the patterns, because when I play G, and then for A to D, and those patterns transfer from one chord to another. Now to get from G to E, which we will do in one song, and I'm just chromatically going down there. And so now you see that pattern repeat itself. E, second, third, fourth, A, second, third, fourth, D, and back to G. There are hundreds of variations and combinations of these, but if you get these, you'll be on your way to figuring them out, hearing them, and making up your own.